What's up, dude? What's up, man? What's going on? Not much. Let's go eat. My name is Joey, and this is my 1997 Infiniti Q45. What makes this car so special? When I was growing up as a kid, I always I was either into Hondas or VIP cars, Japanese VIP cars, and uh, I never thought I'd be able to get one until around 07. I decided that you know what, like I already did what I wanted to do with Hondas, so let's just let's just try building a VIP car. And luckily, my friend in San Diego at the time he was selling it because I think he was trying to get engaged or something. I was like, oh, I'll help you out. I'll just buy the car off you, you know. And then everything else since then I've just done slowly over time. It took me since 07, so maybe like seven years. But this car has always just been kind of like something I just do it for fun. The car has a full aim gain um, international body kit, which is a big Japanese VIP company. It has a SSR Professor MS3 wheels on it in gold, which is probably the only set in the US right now. And uh, it's on air suspension. Out of all the you know sedans and stuff that you could have picked up, like why did you pick up this one? Uh, I wanted this one specifically because uh, I like LSs, but I also think that LSs are kind of like boxy, a little too boxy. Of course, the Q45, like they're ugly when they're stock. They're, they're like pretty ugly cars to be honest. But uh, they have all the features that you want in a luxury car, and it still has that like sporty touch to it. I chose this model year specifically because I like this chassis. Like the generation before is kind of ugly, uglier than this one stock. And then the next generation, I couldn't even afford at the time. Why did you choose to uh, go with this whole VIP style? No, I'm always going to be a Honda guy. You know, like I love Hondas. I still drive a Honda every day. Actually, people always ask me like, why do you drive an Infinity if you have if you're such a big Honda guy? You know, and I was like. I'm just a big car guy in general, you know, I love cars. And VIP stuff has always been really big for me, so when I had the chance to build one, you know, like, why not? Speaking of which, can we talk about this whole phase two thing? What's phase two, if you can explain that to us? Well, phase two is just a car crew that my buddy Mikey started, like, back in maybe 04, I think. They didn't know shit about cars back then. It was just, <laughs> just some stupid thing that they did. They would, like, do neutral drops and do burnouts on the streets, like, doing dumb kid stuff. And then one of the other guys came up with a name and it was stupid. So they're just like, let's just call it phase two. So there was never a phase one? No, phase one was the stupid, like the stupid name. <laughs> and is there ever gonna be a phase three? No, I think, I think this is it. This is the final phase. <laughs> All right, man, so uh, obviously we're both fucking hungry. We're starving right now. And you're gonna take us some, some place to eat? Yeah, we're gonna go to a spot called Gekko Te, which is like a Japanese spot. And this spot is like kind of hidden and like no one really knows about it yet. It's really small and the food's really good, dude. It's like really traditional Japanese food. And what do you normally get here? The hamburger steak, surprisingly. I went with a Japanese friend just the other day and he was like, you come to a Japanese place and you get a hamburger steak? And I was like, it's Japanese style hamburger steak. It's completely different, you know? It's such a small restaurant that the, the waiters and the waitresses like knew who we are. They, like she, one of them even knows what I order all the time. I just sit down and she just brings my food. It's like cheers or something. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Where everybody knows your name? Yeah. <laughs> Either that or you guys just go way too much. Yeah, or they don't get enough business and we're the only ones there. <laughs> like hopefully, like, hopefully those other customers are, we're not going to have a place to eat very soon. <laughs> Really good. Why is it so good? Um, the fat just kind of melts in your mouth, man. It's like if you like hot meat in your mouth. Right? This is the place. Don't we all? Yeah. How's it? Terrible. Yeah. Don't ever come here. It sucks here. <laughs> all right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed dinner, dude. I got shit to do, so I gotta get going. See you later, man. Full and all, but I mean, we're already in the area, so I might as well grab some dessert at this frostbite spot. I need you to explain this whole frostbite thing to us. Like, why, why is it so good, though? Because <laughs> Yelp said it was good. <laughs> Yelp said it was good. Yeah. Oh, so we're here for the sorbet. Yeah. Okay, what, what sorbet do you recommend? Uh, an orange cream. I mean, that's the only one I've ever gotten, so. Okay. <laughs> Let's go get sorbet cream. It has uh, Italian ice, and then vanilla ice cream. Oh, pretty good. But, it's a couple of dudes eating ice cream. It is. Together. Is that kind of weird? Is that kind of weird? <laughs> Don't lock eyes. <laughs> <laughs> So how's frostbite? Sweet ice cream. I mean, actually, it's disgusting. Don't ever come here. Don't believe the Yelp reviews. It's retarded. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's really good. It's really stop good. Stop it, okay? Just yeah. stop.